Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Justin Lin here at Rehab and Revive Physical Therapy, where we rehab the mind to revive your body. Look, our vertigo and dizziness videos have been doing so well. I wanted to add on top of that something that we do here in the clinic. It's called Dynamic VOR with Recall. And it's as cool as it sounds. We'll say it again, Dynamic VOR with Recall. Now, it's really important that you do the other exercises before you get to this step. So this is the fourth video in our series. So you wanna watch the, if you haven't got the Epley's and you didn't help, then you move on to the VOR, and then the VOR, then go to the VOR with one eye, and then you get to this one. So it's really cool because it's gonna help a lot of people, especially those athletes or dynamic things that really can cause some sickness, motion sickness. So stay tuned, we'll talk about dynamic VOR with recall. All right, so as some of you already know, and you've tried with the other exercises, especially that VOR exercise, we're trying to find the right distance of where the stick belongs. So you need a stick, a finger, a pen. You wanna ideally get to about a thumb's length, and that's about the distance where before this stick actually turns to two. It has that kind of ability to, we can't focus, it becomes more like two sticks because our two eyes are doing two different vectors. So what we wanna do is we wanna bring that till it turns to about two, which is right about here for me. So there's two ways to go about this. Like we've done this before in the other video. I wanna follow that, which is cool. Or I can just do this. Well, we'll start this first. Uh, I'm gonna, well, what I wanna do is, and then I'm gonna start walking. So we're gonna start something dynamic here. And you'll notice that yeah, if you kind of have a hard time focusing, and as the world, the walls are moving past me, um, you can get a little bit more unstable. I can tell as I take a step on my left leg, it feels a little bit more wobbly. So, there we go. All right. So, as you can see, I'm now trying to figure out how to coordinate. Some people, like they don't know what to do and they're tripping over themselves. You want to be able to coordinate your eyes with keeping something stable. And so, we'll try that again. So we're gonna keep doing this till I get good at it. And I'm feeling a lot better this time around. This is my third try. All right, so now we're gonna make it a little tougher and we're gonna do this motion while my head is looking straight. So this is a little bit of a distraction, but I'm gonna keep my eyes, my body going straight and all this fun stuff. So I'm gonna do this right now. I'm gonna kind of get it all jump started, and I'm gonna start taking some steps. And I'm, I can tell you it's a little scarier every time I hit the left side because my range isn't as good on that left side. I'll try that again. So you can see that this is dynamically changing because guess what? The world is dynamically changing. So, you know, I don't want to get too philosophical about it, but what we want to do is keep getting us until we get it done. Don't jump to the next exercise or the next phase of this exercise. So what we're going to do is I now want to keep my eyes and I know the door is that way and I'm doing a lot better this time around. So sometimes you need a little break. Like I said, sometimes you need a little break so your brain can kind of rework or reprogram your eyes and your coordination and your ability to move. So let's try this one more time. So I wanna get this thing going and I wanna walk straight. I don't wanna run into the wall. So this is getting pretty good. I can get a little bit further as I get to that point. So once you've got to that second phase, we can start adding recall. So we can do this one, or we can do this one and add things like numbers, right? You can count from something very basic from one to 100. Um, just adding that and adding speech into it, recognition, really changes and distracts your brain a little bit more. So it becomes really trying to open up your bandwidth. Um, and what I like to tell people is then you can make it tougher. You can have, we'll, we'll try prime numbers or we'll try uh, you know even numbers or odd numbers. Then you can go into recalling dead presidents or you can recall uh, states with uh, you know 
whatever, two syllables, you can have fun with it and, you know, just keep keep at it. So we'll start with at least, you know, let's do even numbers right now. So I'll do this one uh, as well. So what I wanna do is I'll take that step, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Now this is hard for some people. They'll be tripping over themselves and getting all dizzy and disrupted. So let's make this a little bit tougher. Now we'll try states that end with an A. And uh, we'll do, instead of this one, I'll do this one. So you can mix and match. So we'll do this one here. So let's get to where it starts about two. Let's do this one, okay. So uh, I'm gonna pick the West Coast for first. So California, Arizona. Um, and you can see as I'm trying to think of the next thing, I'm tripping over myself. Uh, I'll go South Carolina, North Carolina, Minnesota, Iowa, um, Virginia. Yeah, so it's a little bit more tougher, like especially when I was trying to go into my brain and think. So imagine some of you who are walking and talking on your cell phone or texting and you lose your balance and trip. She looks at her phone and flips head first into the basement. You know, maybe there's something to that, your ability to have that vestibular balance uh, and you're not really good at coordinating and thinking at the same time. So you can imagine why texting and driving is bad for you. That's why you don't do it. It changes all your whole visual gaze and messes you up. So why don't we try prime numbers? Let's see if I'm a little bit better at that. So uh, I guess prime numbers are anything divisible only by itself, right? <clears throat> so we'll start. Um, so I guess, so I'll do this one then. Okay, so, all right. So here, we'll do three, seven, 11, 13, 17, uh, 19, 23, 20, uh, 20, 29, right? So, and then I slow down. So we could do different sports teams. I love baseball, so we'll talk about baseball. So, so, all right. Since I'm talking about Dodgers, I love the Dodgers. Dodgers, Angels, Oakland Athletics, San Diego Padres. Um, Texas Rangers, Houston Astros, Minnesota Twins, um, New York Yankees, Boston Red Sox. So doing pretty good there. That's something I love and I can recall much easier. All right, so you can give this a shot. You can, I'm like mentally taxed right now, like barely can speak. So oh, we're gonna get to our outro. Hopefully you enjoyed dynamic BOR with recall. This is a great exercise, but once again, I'm gonna reiterate, if you haven't done the past ones and resolved those issues, please do those first, because this is a very dynamic exercise. There's all these different components coming after you, but I really firmly believe this helps a lot of us with debilitating headaches, migraines, dizziness, things in the real world, because cars, if you're driving on the freeway and you're zipping past things, or people are zipping past you in busy streets like New York, that can be really shocking and, and, and make you nervous and make you anxious. So, and then, you know, of course, you know, you could trip over someone or you can run into a car. <laughs> you wanna make sure, you know, this is this is really helpful for a lot of a lot of the people with, with issues and, and driving. So um, I also think this is great for athletes. So make sure, you know, you give this a shot. All my dynamic athletes receiving balls, catching balls, hitting balls. That's gonna be so cool as you improve this. So make sure you subscribe because we always keep improving and we can always keep pushing the envelope. And then if you've given this exercise a shot and it works and it helps, we'd love to hear your feedback. And so, of course, I could always use a little pat on the back from all the love and support. So thank you very much for all your support over this last couple of years as we continue to grow. I'm Dr. Lin. Remember, we heal smarter, not harder.